Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. And I want to thank everyone that has been donating to our channel, those of you that have become Mystic members, all of you that have been viewing, sharing, liking, subscribing, all of that. I want to thank each and every one of you guys so, so much. Thank you. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's true feelings toward you currently, we have rejection, change, fights along with work, and we also have um, we have the Four of Swords along with the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a few things going on in regards to this person's true feelings for you. Now, when it comes to them, they feel rejected by you. There's something that um, you've either said or some action that you've taken as of recently that makes this person feel, feel as though you're rejecting them or like you're no longer interested. Now, for some of you, this person feels as though you are rejecting the thought that they are able to change their ways. This person, they want to prove to you that they either have changed or that they're capable of changing. But a lot of you are rejecting that because I feel as though you've given this person numerous opportunities to get it right. And so at this point, you're just seeing them for who they really are. Okay. So yeah, it's like they feel as though you don't think that they're capable of changing. Hmm. Also, for some of you, this person, um, they're wondering if you're still willing to fight for this connection. They're hoping that you're willing to still put in the work, okay? For a lot of you, um, don't be surprised if this person tries to start a fight with you to see if you're still interested because in their mind, they feel as though if you were to argue with them, okay, well, that means that you want to work things out or you're still, you know, into them, okay? So don't be surprised. I feel like this person's going to try to do something or say something to see if you're still interested in them. But whatever they do, it's gonna, it might be a little petty or it might have to do with pushing your buttons, okay? So yeah, with this Four of Swords energy along with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like... When it comes to this person, they just, they think that you're focused on yourself, okay? I feel like you guys haven't been putting in a lot of action toward this person. If you have been taking action toward them, whatever action you're taking, you're making sure you put yourself first. I feel like you're not putting all of your eggs in one basket anymore when it comes to this person. You're focused on your peace. I feel as though you guys are focused on, some of you are focused on um, your career, your children, um, your family life, your home, um, tangible things, things that you can control, your money, things such as that. I feel like you guys are just, you know, putting yourself first because peace is important to you. Hmm. That's beautiful. Because I feel like at some point you weren't always putting yourself first. Like you may have still been giving attention to this situation when it wasn't bringing you peace. But now a lot of you are mainly focused on your peace as a priority. Okay. This person, they do want to make peace with you. They don't want you to go anywhere with this four of swords along with this queen of pentacles energy. This, it lets me know that this person, they've always thought that you would always be there, okay? That's how they look at you. They look at you as someone that's not gonna go anywhere, someone that's always gonna be around, someone that they can always depend on. That's how they look at you, okay? That's how they look at you. It's almost the type of energy like you'll always be there or they'll always be able to come back to you or get you back. Like you're not really gonna go anywhere that type of energy okay so this person they're going to be coming back around showing you attention trying to make things right they want to change your perspective of them or your perception they want to change the way that you view them they want you to view them in a righteous way okay 
I feel like this person, they're not going to be giving up on you anytime soon. They're also stressed out about something that you've said to them. Okay. Something that you said. It stresses them out. It's something that they think a lot about. Whatever you said, you had your guard up when you said it. So you were coming off as very defensive. But I feel as though whatever you said, it was the truth. So it might have been the truth in regards to how you see them. It may have been the truth in regards to how you really feel or what you've really been thinking. Because I feel like at some point in time, you guys, you may have been feeling some type of way about this person. Or you had a particular thought about them okay about how you really viewed them but to in order to um per, uh, how can I put it in order to not hurt this person's feelings or to take it a little easy on them I feel like you held back a little bit with what you told this person about what you really think of them but either you guys have let it loose and you just put it in the air in regards to how you really view them or you may be doing this in the near future regardless whatever you say it's going to be facts it's going to be the truth this person is going to know it's the truth and it's going to stab them very deeply it's going to it's going to cut them down to size so it's like you're going to put it all in the air okay if this hasn't happened as of yet it could definitely happen in the near future okay but yeah, this person, um, they want to talk to you. For some of you, they may want to apologize. But I feel like this person, they switch up a lot. And I've been getting that a lot in the readings. Like we have the page of pentacles here. And then we have the page of cups here. So I feel like this person, they come off like they have a split personality or, you know, or something like that. They just switch up a lot. It's almost like they can mold themselves into different people, like they shape shift into whoever they need to be. Like they know exactly what to say, to say all of the right things and um, all of that. And then, or they know how to be very strategic um, to get what they want or to get whatever reaction they want out of a person. But then they know how to switch up and be lovey dovey and, you know, just say all of the right things. They know how to... They know how to shape shift into different energies and they do it very well, very well, de depending on who they're around. OK, so they know how to be firm when they need to be firm. They know how to be gentle and caring and things such as that whenever they need to be. They know how to make someone feel like they're in the friend zone. They make they know how to make someone feel as though, hey, you're the only one for me. You're the only fish in the sea. You know, that I'm interested in. They know how to shape shifts. I can't put it any other way. This person, um, they want you to feel stuck. I've been seeing that a lot in the readings as well. They also think a lot about all of the attention that they feel as though you may be getting from others. They don't want anyone else getting your attention. Okay. They don't want anyone else getting your attention and they don't want any... They don't want you giving your attention to anyone else. This person, they think a lot about being with you because they feel like they'd be winning. There's something about you where you would make this person look good to the public or you would be good for their reputation. But they also know that in order to make things right with you, they're going to have a lot on their plate. Like it's not going to be easy proving themselves to you because they put you through too much. Okay. So they feel like in order to make you see them in a different light, they're going to have a lot, a lot to prove. And for some of you, you've already dropped this person anyway, and you're not even interested in, um, and, and them fixing things or, and fixing things with this person. Some of you have blocked this person. Others of you, um, if you haven't blocked them as of yet, this person, they are going to be reaching out to you. And like I said, don't be surprised if they say something strategically to push your buttons. Because it's like, they feel as though if they're able to push your buttons and if you react in a defensive way or if you go back and forth with them, oh, okay, that means that they still want to work things out with me. Okay, then we'll apologize and make up later. Like, that's how this person is looking at it, okay? 
a lot of you they see um or they feel as though you've detached yourself like you're thinking head above heart some of you definitely block this person they also feel as though you're looking toward the future they're stressed because they feel as though you may be dating others for some of you they feel as though you may have a sexual connection with someone else and that stresses this person out a lot mm, they're stressed especially at night it's almost like they you dealing with someone else on a sexual level or dating someone else is this person's worst nightmare. And they feel as though you have different options in regards to who you want to date. It's like you're detaching yourself from them, looking toward the future and deciding to date others. And they're pissed about it. So that's what I, what, excuse me. That's why I was, ugh, that's why I was saying before <laughs> That this person may say something to try and piss you off. So don't fall for it. I feel like this is really petty energy. Okay. Some of you are thinking about getting a restraining order. Mm. Wow. Also, I feel like this person, they're a liar or you don't trust what they say. Also, if this person lives close by or if they um live within traveling, like... A traveling um, distance be careful this is gonna be very specific but for someone I see someone messing with your vehicle okay so be careful about that I see someone being dirty and low down messing with someone's vehicle but regardless you're gonna bounce back from it anyway but spirit just wants you to be vigilant okay also if you have moved on this person um, I feel like they're pissed about it, but they want to apologize to you. Now, whether they do it or not, it's completely up to them. They also want to let you know how much you mean to them. Okay. This person, they don't feel as though they're on your level. I mean, they're coming up as a page and you're coming up as an empress, whether you're a male or a female. Okay, but they see a lot of growth with you. For some of you, this is an announcement of, of a child. So for some of you, if you don't want children, um, be careful with that. If you're not able to have children, this is just this person wanting to come in, letting you know that they want growth with you, that they are aware that um, no one else can compare to you. Wow. They are watching you very closely. They're also watching to see if you have other options, okay? They see you as their soulmate. I also want you to be very careful because this is also a card of vigilance. So Spirit wants you to be vigilant when it comes to people trying to sell you a dream, okay? If you have good money um, or a very stable life, if you have nice things, be careful that people are not trying to get with you for what you have, okay? I see that very clearly here. Ooh, but yeah, this person, um, just be careful about traveling to see this person if you're able to have children, whether you're a male or a female, because I see someone trapping someone with a child. Some of you may already have children with this person, but regardless, if you have children with them already, they may try to use the kids against you or they may say, I want to come and see my kids. But then when they come and see the kids, they're um, or e either they may tell you they want to come and see um, their children or either, you know, they may ask you if... Um, or invite you to come and see the kids or something like that. But then when you get there, they're going to try and argue with you. Or they're going to try to say things to piss you off. Or you're going to realize that it wasn't about the kids at all. Like they're just trying to trigger you. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's pull a few more cards. All right. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to this person's true feelings for this currently. What is this person's truth going for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. Wow. So, yeah. This person, they're a little bit all over the place. But overall, they just feel like you don't think that they'll ever change. We have Target. See, they're ta targeting you. This person is trying to figure out how to get their way with you. Now, the two of you do have a soul contract. 
okay so this person is recognizing or they feel it so the two of you are meant to be in each other's life i also feel as though um this person's going through a lot of a lot of inner conflict right now and it may be because they feel as though they're not the only person after you now whether that's true or not is one thing but you know they feel like other people want you too and so it's making them not think straight they're not able to think clearly okay also this person they're targeting you or they're strategizing about how they can get you or how they can win you over but the way that they're going about trying to do it isn't the best way like it's almost like they're not thinking clearly. And so they may be coming up with like a plot or a plan to win you over. But it's not the best way. Give me more in regards to this person's true feelings. So it might be worse currently when it comes to love. What is this person's true feelings? Thank you. We have self-love. See, that came out crossing. So this person... I feel like... This person may suffer from some self-esteem issues. For some of you, they don't love themselves the way that they should. Self-love, this person loving their, themselves, because when you don't love yourself, you're not able to love someone else properly. So that may be one of the issues here, okay? Hmm balance is at the bottom of the deck finding balance between giving and receiving so i feel like you guys may have overextended yourself okay you may have been over giving in this situation i also feel like at some point in time this person um they just wanted you to give, 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 give. Whether it was money, resources, love, time, energy, whatever you were giving, it wasn't reciprocated, okay? So you guys are having a different perspective when it comes to that now. Like, you're not giving to situations where you're not getting anything in return, all right? And I feel like this person, they don't really like that. They want you to overextend. Give me more about how this person truly feels toward my viewers. Thank you. So we have miracles. So this person, they're praying for a miracle. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. So for some of you, this person's planning a surprise. Okay. Hmm. They're under a lot of pressure right now. So it seems as though they have a lot going on. I also feel as though this person has been through a lot. So they definitely are very much damaged. You know, hurt people do hurt people. Okay. But that's, don't, I can't tell you what to do. But what I will say is don't let anyone, don't let anyone that's damaged, damage you. Or make you feel like they can't love the way that you deserve to be loved. So you just have to accept, you know, accept whatever it is that they have to offer, even though it's not enough. Don't, don't, don't accept that. Don't ever think that it's okay that they treat me this way because hurt people hurt people. No, 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 no. You choose to deal with hurt people. For, for some of you, like when a person is damaged like this, sometimes you have to let them go to do the healing work, okay? Because right now this person's under a lot of pressure. But see, the thing about it is spirit is putting them under a lot of pressure so that it can be a catalyst. Things, all of these things that this person, all of the things this person is going through right now, it's all supposed to act as a catalyst for this person to change their ways. So that's why spirit is putting them under a lot of pressure right now, okay? Hmm. For some of you, this person wants to bring a gift to you, okay? Or they want to do something to give you a small token of their love or sh do something. And this gift could be in the form of many different things. This could be like a message letting you know how much they love you or that they are in love with you. This could be an actual gift. They're planning on doing something to show you that they love you, but it's something you're not used to. 
however they come toward you, it's in a it's gonna be in a way that you're not used to them being or used to them showing you. Hmm. I also feel like this person may have had a tough start in the beginning of their life as a youth or something of that nature. They may have made some bad choices, but they were dealt a tough hand. Um, I feel like this person went through a lot. And for some of you, the reason why they went through so much as a child is because of the choices that they were making. For others, it may be because they just had a tough up upbringing. They, they went through a lot. Things were very chaotic for them. They feel, felt like they had to fight for everything. Hmm. They may have even felt like they weren't loved properly or something. Hmm. Wow. All right. So, yeah, this person, they really um, want to make things right with you. They want to show you that they've changed. OK, but I feel like this person's damaged. And if you are wanting things to work with them, this person, they need to practice self-love because they're not doing so. It's almost like they want someone else to love them like they should love themselves. OK. And so until they learn to love themselves, because self-love was the only card that came out crossing. So this lets me know they don't love themselves properly or they don't do things to show that they love themselves. So until they do that, there's always going to be issues with this person. Mm. Look at this. It's crazy because I was shuffling the deck like this. Okay. Okay. And I don't think you guys were able to see it because of where I was shuffling and detached came out crossing. So it lets me know that this person is detached from self-love. They don't, they don't love themselves. Look, I'm emotionally closed off so I don't feel my past wounds. That's sad. So for some of you, that's why this person, that's why they tend to become detached. That's why they're so hot and cold at times. Mm -mm -mm. they they've been through a lot but that's no excuse to treat anyone um less than or to treat anyone um the way that they've been treating you they're damaged they are and so this person they need to learn to so it's almost like instead of um and then for a lot of you i feel like they're not used to anyone loving them unconditionally so when you gave them that unconditional love they didn't know how to deal with it they didn't know how to accept it so they detached from it mm. All right, so that's the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.